Do you find yourself struggling in this cycle of negativity where you can't break free? Do limiting thoughts and beliefs hold you back from accomplishing your goals and dreams and creating the life that you want? Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to break through limiting thoughts and beliefs so that you can start creating the life that you want. Let's go. Welcome back. Look, I wanna to talk to you today about something that I think we can all relate to. We all have self-doubt, right? We all have limiting thoughts, right? We have things that we want and then those thoughts creep into our mind and somehow we get in this downward spiral. We start taking no action or limited action and it's all because of our thoughts. And so what we know for sure is that our thoughts have power. What we think has power. And so for a lot of us, we have to learn how to change our thinking. We have to learn how to reprogram our mind for success instead of reprogramming our mind to hold us in place with our limitations. And it's a thing that we all struggle with. Look, I've struggled with limiting thoughts, holding me back from taking action, holding me back from continuing on the journey to get what I want in life. I got tired of looking around wondering why I'm in the same place in my life, in my health, in my relationship, with my finances, year after year after year. And there were times when I made a little bit of progress, but then I reverted back because those limiting thoughts told me, you're not good enough. You're not smart enough. You're never going to be able to launch and, and have a successful business. You're never going to be a successful creator. You're never going to be able to have that house that you want, that car that you want. And so those limiting thoughts became limiting beliefs. And once something becomes a belief, it is very difficult to change and it requires a lot of effort in order to change that. So let's talk a little bit about limiting thoughts and limiting beliefs. A limiting thought is really a thought that stops your progress. It stops you from moving forward in life and it can become a belief. And once it becomes a belief, a belief is something that you know in your mind, in your heart to be true or something that you think to be true. We want something in our life and we make a little bit of effort to get it or sometimes the limiting thought comes in right away and we don't even take action because we failed in the past, we listen to other people's negative opinions, we're around a lot of negativity, and so all of that feeds in to our limiting thoughts. So many people develop this fixed mindset because these limiting beliefs that they keep telling themselves over and over and over again, we start to believe the lies that we're telling ourselves. When the truth is, maybe you don't have the answers right now, maybe you don't know how, but you can figure it out. How do we break through those limiting thoughts, those limiting beliefs? How do we break through? Well, I'm going to give you five steps. The first thing that we have to do is this. We have to be aware of the negative and limiting thoughts. See, we have these thoughts all the time, and because we have these limiting thoughts all the time, they just become second nature. We don't even realize that we're having these thoughts sometimes. So we have to stop and pause and say, what is going on right now? Why am I being negative? Why, do, why am I stopping myself? What's holding me back? What is this thought that's going through that says, you're not worthy, you're not deserving, you'll never have this? What is that thought? So you have to stop, you have to have this awareness to be like, what, what you're feeling, what you're saying to yourself, the emotions that are associated with that negativity and that limiting belief, you have to have that awareness. That's the very first thing that we need to do. Be aware of the limiting thoughts. Be aware of the limiting language that you use. The second step is all about challenging those limiting thoughts. So how do you challenge those thoughts? Well, the first thing is you want to acknowledge, well, where are these thoughts coming from? Why do I have these limiting beliefs? Why don't I think that I'll ever be a great content creator? Why do I think that I'll never have a house? Why do I think that I'll never be in a loving relationship? Why do I think that I'll never make the money that I want to make? Where is that coming from? And when you dive into where your limiting beliefs and limiting thoughts are coming from, usually they're not your own. 
See that voice in the back of your head that's telling you you're not good enough or smart enough or pretty enough or whatever it is, is usually not your voice. It's someone else's voice, usually from your childhood. Maybe it's a a parent, a teacher, or some other adult that said these things to you that made you feel like you weren't pretty enough, that discouraged you from going out there and playing on a sports team. Maybe it was something that happened when you were young that stopped you and you carried that forward and you made that that uh, a belief of yours. Or maybe it's something that happened as an adult. Maybe you were in a relationship and You might have messed up in that relationship or maybe you had a business and the business failed, right? And you're holding yourself accountable. You haven't given yourself grace and forgiveness for that, right? But usually that voice is not ours. So we have to figure out, first of all, whose voice is that? And then we have to learn to shut down that limiting thought before it becomes a belief. You know, I created this thing called Catch release, replace. And it worked so well for me over the last few years and my coaching clients. So what it is, is every time you have a negative thought, you catch it, right? Because your brain is trying to protect you, right? That's really what's going on. Your brain is saying, look, you tried to achieve this thing in the past, or you tried something in the past, you weren't successful. I'm trying to protect you from the pain and the hurt that you had before. So here comes the limiting thoughts and beliefs. So your brain is actually trying to protect you. So what you want to do is when you notice this negative thought coming in, you want to catch it. You want to acknowledge and say, hmm, that's an interesting thought. You just say that. And then you want to release it because it's not true. So you let it go. You thank your brain for trying to protect you. You say thank you and you let that negative thought go. Then you replace it with something positive right? You want to replace that negative thought with something positive because that negativity is not true anyway. It's a lie that you're telling yourself. So you want to catch the thought, you want to release it and let it go, and then you want to replace it with something more positive and powerful. So here's what it looks like. You know, when I first started out speaking, I used to think, look, I'm no Tony Robbins. I'm not Les Brown. I'm not Bob Proctor. You know, I'm not one of these amazing speakers. So I'm never going to make an impact like some of the, some of those people. And this negative self-talk used to kick in. And it was after doing a lot of self-help work and attending seminars and reading books and getting coaches that I learned this technique. And so what would happen was every time after that, I started to think this negative thought about anything. Here's what it would look like. It would, I would say, oh, you're not an amazing speaker. You're not so-and-so. You're not this person. I would catch the thought right? And I would say, thank you, brain, for you know trying to protect me. I would release it, and then I would replace it with something powerful. And that replacement would be something like, you are worthy. You have a voice. You have stories. You have information that people need. And the way that you deliver it, no one else can deliver it like you. And that's what I would say to myself. So that's what the catch, release, replace looks like. You have to challenge those negative thoughts before they become beliefs and you really start to believe them and they become ingrained in who you are. The third thing that you want to do is you want to surround yourself with positivity. Too many of us are around negativity. We're around negative people. And so every time you try to make progress on a goal or a dream or in some area of your life, you get sucked back because you're not around people who are positive. You're not creating an environment for positivity. So what are the things that you're watching on TV? What are you listening to? Who are you following on social media? Who are the people that you spend the most time with? All of those things are going to influence your beliefs about yourself and what's possible for you. So you're spending a lot of time with people who are negative. Then, of course, that energy is going to be sucked from you every time you try to make progress in your life? Are you watching a lot of very negative social media accounts or negative movies? Or are you reading a lot of, you know, news? All of those things seep into your subconscious and they hold you back, right? So you got to be around people who are positive. You got to put positivity into your life. Are you, 
the podcast that you're listening to, the videos that you're watching, are they motivating you? Are they inspiring you to be more and do more? So put as much positivity in your life as you can. Start your morning with affirmations. Start your mornings listening to something that's uplifting, reading a book, right? These are the kinds of things that play into creating a positive mindset. The next tip is you want to practice gratitude. Look, we all know the power of being grateful, but do we really embrace gratitude? Do we really think about the things that we're grateful for every single day? See, when you have these limiting thoughts, you think about the negative side. You think about what you don't have. You think about what you can't do. But when you are in gratitude and you appreciate what you have and you're thankful, that's when you actually start to open up more possibility in your life. And that is a way, one way to really stop negative thoughts because your mind can't process two thoughts at the same time, two opposing thoughts at the same time. So if one is very limiting, saying, I can't do this, I, I'll never be able to have this, I'm not worthy, I'm not pretty enough, I'm not smart enough, and the other one is gratitude, and you're saying, thank you for life, thank you for this, thank you for my family, my health, all of these amazing things, they can't, they can't coexist at the same time in your mind. So every time that negative thought comes in, automatically think about the things that you're grateful for. Think about all of the things that you're thankful for in your life. And that will start to combat those negative thoughts. But a lot of us don't do that. We, we, we layer on these negative thoughts and then we get into this downward spiral. You know, I remember back when I was working in my corporate job and I just wasn't happy. I just felt like I needed to be somewhere else. I felt like I was being called to do something else, but I didn't know what it was. And I wasn't happy in my job. I felt like I was overworked and underpaid working in this corporate job. And I just, I was just so negative. And that negativity showed up in the way that I carried myself and the language that I used. You know, I was overweight. And so I just wasn't happy with myself. And once I started on this self-development and self-growth journey, I really had to stop those limiting thoughts. And once I started doing some of the things that I'm talking about right now, I noticed this real change in myself. And, and it all started with being grateful. I would talk about all the things that I don't have and then automatically I would say, yeah, but I'm grateful for this and I'm grateful for that and I have a roof over my head. I do have a job. So many people in the world don't have a job. I have money coming in. I'm able to travel. I can go out to eat. So I just started making notes of all the things that I was grateful for. And what I noticed and what other people noticed is that that limiting, defeated language started to diminish. I noticed that I stopped complaining. I noticed that I stopped saying, I can't do this and I can't do that. And I started asking myself, how can I? So when you replace that limiting belief with how can I, that changes the way that you think. And it all starts with gratitude because once you're grateful, that opens up new ways and new avenues of thinking. And that's how we start to reprogram our minds. So the power of gratitude, starting your day with gratitude, being grateful throughout the day, that is a major, major habit that you can implement into your life that's gonna make a huge difference. And the final tip, and you know, Tony Robbins talks about this all the time, like you have to get moving. You know, when these negative thoughts come in and then now you, they start to kind of become beliefs and you become sad and you become depressed and you really don't want to do anything. When those limiting thoughts and beliefs really hold you down, you got to get moving. Exercise is one of the best things that's going to help you to release those endorphins and those things that make you feel good. And movement is one of the major keys to helping you to shift your state. So what happens is when you start down this road of limiting your, your mind and limiting what you think you can do, now you start to get into this slump in this downward spiral. And for some people, they become depressed, they, they become, you know, over anxious, and they just really feel defeated. And one of the ways that we can really combat that is get up, 
exercise, get out into nature, go for a walk, do some type of activity because once you do, that's going to release all of these things that make you start to feel good about yourself. And another great thing about exercise is not just the physical benefits, but the mental benefits. See, when you're exercising, it creates more clarity. You start to see things that you haven't seen when you're you know, slumped up on the couch or in bed. So exercise is a very powerful tool that's available to all of us, but we just have to take advantage of it. And that's one of the things that's really going to help you to crush those limiting thoughts and beliefs. Look, if you're loving this video, please make sure that you click subscribe because I'm going to be dropping more content just like this. Now, I, I want to put it back to you. We all have these limiting thoughts. We all have these limiting beliefs. We all know that there's other things that we can be doing, but these limiting thoughts and beliefs kind of hold us down. So I want to know from you, let me know in the comments which one of these tips really resonated with you, or maybe you have some other tips that are going to help all of us to eliminate and crush those limiting beliefs so we can create this positive mindset and unleash the life that we want. I hope this was valuable, and if you love this video, you're definitely going to love this one right here.